Good day everyone. My name is John Paul. So, so this is my plotting sheets, sheets, maneuvering board. So, this is this is our triangle by using to plot, and then the pencil, pencil, and then the compass divider. And also the uni pin. So first, first thing to do is to do first. First thing is to do plot the given course at the course is eighty degree. True. So I have to plot eighty degrees this one using the I want to use the triangle by using the 80 degrees Ooh. so this one this is 80 degrees this is the center to 80 degrees True. So, and this is the, and this is our own ship's course. So, next is the plot of the observations. So, the first obs observation is the made of twenty nautical miles. I twenty degrees nautical miles. So, this one twenty degrees nautical miles. So, and this is the 12, 12 miles school. So, the first, I took 12 miles skills plotting sheet. So, each range is, range is equivalent to 2 nautical miles. So, the first, observations 20 nautical miles the nautical miles miles this is the first observation observation which is the r so next is to find the second observation observation second observation second observation which is 21 nautical miles so 20 nautical miles so which is 21 degrees 8 nautical mile, miles I mean so first thing to do is 20 21 degrees 21 degrees It nautical miles, nautical miles. So this is the second observation, which is M. Now I want to connect the R to M to the line longer M. So this one. This one, this one, R to M, so, so the line longer is, longer M, so, this line relatives relative time for the RML so the RML RML so we know I so 
no i will to do to define the drms using the drm i am using the triangle using the triangle using the triangle this one is 91 degrees so this one you get the point at point at the center so you have to line 90 19 191 degrees so this one So the DRM is so the DRM is so the DRM is 91 191 degrees so this is the DRM So the next is the is our speed relative motions with with the formula distance divided divide by time so so we have to divide divide time to time so the distance is r to m you have to use the compass divider so first we have to divide the using compass divider so so divider and you measure here the distance distance here so that the distance r to m is one nautical miles and the time interval is six nautical miles and the r is six six minutes six minutes and the divide six minutes so zero po, zero point one hour and i divided by zero point one so if i divide zero point one so the so is ten ten not nautical nautical ten knots so this is our is our is our end is our end so the next is the cpa cpa So the CPA closest part approach approach where the CPA is 90 relative motions line. So this one 90 relative motion line. This one 90 relative motion line. So to find to find the 90 degrees is going to the use the 90 triangle this one 90 triangle and uh, and start uh, in the center in the center point of the ra radar so this one center point of the radar this one this one center point of the radar so this is the plotting sheets and also this is our our ships so 90 degrees so 90 degrees are the relative motions line and also is the is our CPA line and 
I have to measure this so the CPA is 1.5 1.5 nautical miles and also and also and also to continue to find the bearing which which is 100 which is the 100 which is the 100 which is the 100 one 101 degrees the bearing is the the bearing of the point of the approach is 101 degrees so the next is the CPA so divide by the SRN multiply by 60 and also we have the convert the minutes And minutes of the minutes so so the TCPA so the TCPA TCPA is zero to six. 300 hours so this one so the next is we have to find the e to the far our parallel course to find the r e, e to r our ship speeds is 80 knots and the uh, time again 60 minutes 442 hours so this one a so that's all thank you this is our Sheets. So that's all. Thank you.